All right, you guys, welcome back to Highway 1RC, and we are back at JJ Customs. And Jay, man, tell them what you want to tell the people about, bro. Yeah, guys, Jay, thanks for coming by first, Chris. I appreciate it. Um, definitely want to talk servos to start, so speed tech servos in particular. So just to let you know what we got going on here, we got servos ranging from 400 to 500 to 600 to 700 ounces of torque. All the speeds range from 0 .1, 0 0.15 all the way down to... 0.06 so it's very fast so this is a 500 ounce super fast um, really uh, all the different purposes of these servos like something like this is a great replacement for a stock vehicle like a crawler or something like that like a 10-2 10-3 $40 servo it's definitely a step above stock so it's a great way to go um, <clears throat> and then looking into like something let's say you wanted to go a little further upgrade get something a little bit faster submergible um, these ones could actually work underwater so that's pretty cool um, they're also high voltage servos they go up to 8.4 volts um, and the uh, speeds and the torque ratings all adjust respectively everything goes up as the voltage goes up but um, this one maxes out at 0.07 on the speed and uh, 416 no wait 528 ounces so 528 ounces at 07. That's good. Yeah, it's pretty quick and strong. It's there fast and strong. So this one is the uh, 600 ounce version. It's a little bit slower than this version, but it actually has a lot more torque. So it's uh, at 600 and let's take here, uh, 625 ounces of torque. So, and that's at point, let's see here, point one, point one one. So that's actually pretty fast for how much torque you're getting. And then we got a direct powered servo also. These ones are great if you want to do like a 4S battery connected to a uh, GST connector. We sell those two from SpeedTech. And we have the 2S, 3S, and 4S voltages. And these ones are capable all the way to 3 and 4. Wow. So yeah, so it's really cool. So yeah, I mean, these are like, as far as a purpose for these servos, I mean, the cool thing about the servo is that it's kind of a multi-purpose thing. You know, you just need it to be strong enough and fast enough for your application. Um, this one in particular, it's very fast and very strong. So it could be used for almost any application. We're talking seven scale drag down to 10 scale crawling. Um, and it would work great for both. So um, you really, really can't say anything bad there um, we also got some new servos in these are the L LP and LP the low profile 10 scale servos um, this is the original version the 0608 and uh, this one is uh, great specs on it 0.06 speed 8.4 volts and it's almost 400 ounces it's like 380 so it's really strong and it's an $80 servo so it's really affordable for what you get submergible also and with this came the following one, which is now a tuned, drift tuned version of the low profile servo. So now you could get this servo with the custom etching that we did. Um, now let's say, for example, you want something specific like your name or something, we can do that. So, Wait, Jay, so you're telling me not only you got a custom drift Specs, servo yeah spec servo yeah. but let's say if i wanted to put highway one rc on this servo you could do that for me yeah simple yeah not a problem oh. so yeah yeah we'll have it set up on the website and uh it'll be basically like a drop down menu and uh really easy to use and should be pretty cool shout out to no tachi you know that's a based uh drift team out of san jose yep shout out to joel he's doing a big man love what he's doing <laughs> i'm not a driver on a team more like a valet but <laughs> That's the homies, you know. So shout out to the Nunatachi team. You know, that's beautiful. Look at that samurai sword. Yeah, I got a little samurai in there. We got the uh, DS on the side for drift spec. That is sick. And on the back, we got, it's hard to see, but it's also got the Nunatachi on the back, too. That is sick. Oh, actually, you know, this one here, let me open it up. Yeah, check it out. Look you at can this. See. Drift that spec, is sick. drift spec. And the way we also etch it is how the servo is going to sit in there. It sits in there like that. So we set it to be everything reads on the right direction. Oh, that's so tight. Yeah, so we tip that into consideration. Well, you know we have to do a Highway 1 RC one. You know it, brother. And that's the thing, we'll get the orientation right and we'll have it exactly how you guys, how you want it, brother. You know, it'd be really, really sick. That's cool. I'm gonna yeah. tell you like this, we just did, uh, you know, the upgrades, the RC hop-ups and the speed tech on the SCX24 and Ron 
loves this servo, man. It's a great servo, man. Great I mean, servo. It's hard to beat. I mean, it, it is the fastest micro servo um, on the market. Um, the speed on this one is super fast. It's 0 .05. Yeah. That's nuts. No, so, that's I mean, great. It's just, it's just stupid fast, dude. And it's still got 86 ounces of torque. So it's it's awesome how you see it. When you see it move, the tires move, it you you can you can tell the difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love this. Great for the SEX24. That's that's what it's been used for mainly because that model blew up so much. Yeah. Um, but it could be used for other things too. It actually fits in the Losi Mini T. Um, one of our guys did that too. Big shout out to Jorge. Um, he did a nice build for that. And we got to touch this a little. This oh, thing's yeah. impressive inside the SCX6. Yeah. This thing is yeah. impressive. It's, it's insane. It's a full fifth scale servo. The crazy thing about this is the servo is, um, how many ounces is it? 900 ounces of torque. I know, it's, it's crazy. It's, but the price is 80 bucks. I know. It's just crazy. No, I really appreciate what you're doing for people in this it. hobby, man, because you know, you're getting them further down the, the trail and right. more, more money back in their pocket, you know? And, and the more time that, I mean, you, and the one thing to remember too is, you know, we're, we've been doing this these products for a very small amount of time, you know, so, um, with more time, is build, we build better relationships. So all I can say is be ready for better pricing next year and the years to come because uh, we're definitely negotiating with these uh, suppliers. That's what's So up. we want you guys to have the best price. So. All right, well, now that we talked about your servos, come on, talk about your batteries, man. Oh, yeah, so check it out. So our line of batteries has expanded. Um, we started originally with the 5000 series lineup, uh, which is the, uh, we have the short, high voltage, 60C 5000 and this one is $39. It's a $40 battery and it's great for drift cars. Um, has the bullet plug in. It just really, um, really nice for, for basically for any application where you have to use a shorty pack. Um, there's a few crawlers that require it. The team associated requires a, sh a, team, uh, a shorty pack. And uh, there you go. You got the bullets, high voltage, nice little package. And uh, runtime is going to be, it depends on the model, but it's a 5,000 milliamp, so you're gonna get plenty of runtime. It's really kind of like the uh, the go-to factory um, standard milliamp is 5,000, I would say these days. Um, but yeah, then so from there, we got the uh, 2S version of the 5,000, that's a full size. And then the 3S, 4S, and the 6S. So basically, you know, from, you know, the brush models for 2S all the way to the 6S bashers, um, you're set. You know, warranty is six months. Pricing is competitive with the current market. Um, we're right in line with all the main suppliers. So um, yeah, you guys can't beat it, man. You know, easy to get warranties done. Just come into JJ and get a new battery like that. No waiting. So that's another another great thing about the Speedtech batteries. Um, going into the newest releases, I'm really proud of these. Um, <clears throat> these are the 8000 series. And oh, I forgot to mention these are 5050C. The reason I thought about that was because of C rating here. Um, these are 8,000 120C with a 240 burst. So um, these batteries are crazy. I mean, uh, take this 6S for example. Box is huge, but you, you, it's really cool how they package it. Um, so it's packaged with like a bubble wrap. So it's like floating in there. And uh, this is what the battery looks like. Whoa. Eight gauge wire. Um, so it's spec to handle, you know, me uh, huge draws of current. Jeez, it's we, a brick. It's a brick. It worked great in boats. It worked great in cars, like a Limitless, um, an Outcast 8S, a Kraden 8S. I mean, it's just a just a beast of a battery, man. So huge runtime, huge power. You can't you can't beat it. The 4S and the 6S version both have eight gauge wire and they come with the blank connector or no connector because of the gauge of the wire. Mm. But I figured you guys would rather have big gauge wire than a connector on there. <clears throat> and then you can put on your own connector, whatever you want. Or you can, when you order it, just say, hey, put on that connector and we will. Um, and then the uh, 2S and the 3S are using 10 gauge wire. Okay. So, yeah, they're just great batteries, man. The shape of them are a little bit different, which I kind of like. Very similar to, um, you know, that one brand you were using. Um, but yeah, just great. great. Yeah, that one. Yeah, remember? That's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Man, these work great together too. And let me show something. Let me just reach down and grab something really quick out of here. Um, yeah, 3S. So check it out. So the cool thing about this is they're really designed to run in, in my opinion, together. So there you go. 
You know what I mean? That's like this this stack up that would fit right into the Outcast 6S. Yeah. Um, all the Arma 6S vehicles, and you got the connectors already on there for that vehicle. That's what it was designed for. So okay. You don't have to mess around. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Yeah. But yeah, so we're really happy about the servos that came out, and we have some more coming. And batteries, same thing. You know, really having great success with the batteries, and uh, you know, just happy to definitely you know have something else on the market for you guys. You know? Most definitely. And you know what? We just brought this back from Ron's house, and we wanted you to talk about your products in here, man. Because yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff going on here, man. This this was a build we did for you, obviously. Uh, a lot of custom stuff here, and Ron did, did the assembly on everything. He did a beautiful job. Just big shout out to him. I mean, I love the, he just he finished everything just so nice. It's just such a tight package. But what we got in here is the RC Hop Ups ESC, goes for $20. And you can run up to 3S on this thing. 3S. Look at that. And this RC Hop Ups motor, you could run up to 3S. So 3S, 3S capable. This motor sells for $10. This sells for 20, so it's a $30 combination. We also have the motor mount, which also comes in here because it's a different bolt pattern like the other ones on the market, and that goes for like six or seven dollars. It's cheap. Um, and then we got the RC Hop Ups uh, steering linkage. Sorry about that. Got the RC, RC Hop Ups. And you linkage. know what? I'm gonna tell you this has one of Ron's favorite because he said the stock steering link is just. It's really sloppy. It right? is, you get a lot of play. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this stiffens it up to where it's really almost like a 10 scale as far as what you get. But that with your servo, oh. Oh yeah, right? Yeah, so that was like the. Tremendous oh, improvement, yeah. tremendous. It, it was, this is this came out nice. So this has got the speed tech servo in it. And uh, yeah, half of 0.05 seconds, 89 ounces of torque. Um, it's got the RC hop ups, tires and wheels. The brass wheels has great weight on these wheels. Great weight. I love it. I'm telling you, Ron was really impressed by this thing. It, it cleared his whole course. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. That's sick. No, and it came out great. I mean, relocated uh, the receiver. Uh, since it now has a regular receiver, it's not running the two-in-one system. This mm -hmm. is a standalone ESC. Um, we did a custom wire harness for the lights because you're going to a receiver now, not yeah. the two-in-one. And uh, other than that, it's factory. <laughs> but yeah, we had a lot of stuff we did to it. But oh. the weight feels great. I mean, it's big difference from yeah. stock. Yeah. I'm really proud of you, man. Taking you, man. <laughs> taking on accessories like this and it's fun. <coughs> batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, just Jay is just on a roll right now. And I'm telling you, by putting the parts into this SCX24, it blew my mind. The best part is he's about to do the same thing to these Capras. Yes. Yeah, so be on a stay tuned because we're about to have an RC hop up. Capra that's gonna just blow your mind. I mean, beadlocks. We got beadlocks, brass. Uh, we're also, I think, something's gonna be really cool is these portal gears are plastic. So the cool thing is, we're gonna have steel ones that are hardened and they're gonna be cheap. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna have some great upgrades for this and uh, it's just gonna be a lot of good stuff to come, man. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, man. Just things are coming all the time. Look at that. Your own logo on a servo. Bro, one, you can buy one servo from him. Yeah, yeah, and your own spec card, too, on the back. And your own, look at that. Okay. No Tachi. What? Jay, man. <laughs> That's how we do it. Man. The hustle don't stop in this house. No, we got to keep moving, brother. Um, and I appreciate everything you do, brother. You know, together we make it work, bro, you know? It's a team effort, and uh, it's a lot of fun, though. I'm having a blast doing it, you know? Well, it's, it's great to be on this team, man. Right on, brother. Yeah, with that said, hey, don't forget, we always got the apparel. All right, drones. All right, we're gonna get more into these as we get into it. Just right now, today was servos, batteries, Cyber Monday sales. Yep, we're gonna have sales all the way to the end of the week. And uh, really though, if you guys are looking to get a drone, come on through and uh, if it's your first drone, we'll give you guys a, a huge deal on these. Just come in, tell RJ you're looking to get into drones. You're, you know, haven't done it. And we'll give you a, like, let's say, let's say off this cyber price, we'll do another 10%. So you'll be getting like a super good price on these drones. It's like really 30% off total then. So uh, yeah, guys, come on through, man. It's a great way to get into the hobby, man. The drones are fun. They're so like, you heard Jay, you see these doors when they're open? Yeah, come on through. Come on through, man, come on through. We'll see you guys later.